Hey everyone, welcome back to Coach Doc Ministries. In today's video, I'm going to give you a positive note of encouragement on not to dismiss or ignore your doubts. It's going to be a good one. Let's get to it. To set the table, religious deconstruction is the process of core religious beliefs being challenged. Things you were taught as a child, the religion of your youth, and all of it being turned upside down. This is multiple causal factors. Significant trauma, such as sickness or death of a loved one, a friend or family member challenging your religious views and your struggle to defend them, or by experiencing a new perspective such as going to college or joining the military. Undoubtedly, if you're struggling with religious deconstruction, you have doubts. And in most religious traditions, doubt equates to a lack of faith, which is a major hearsay these days. Faith being defined broadly as belief, specifically belief in whatever the tradition demands. Sadly, faith equals belief has become the status quo in the vast majority of churches and in many synagogues today. More specifically, to have faith is to believe properly, without doubt. Faith is an activity of the mind that has to do with the act of believing as opposed to doubting. If faith is present, then doubt is not. What we cannot understand, we must accept on faith with a mighty effort to repress whatever makes believing difficult. Faith often describes absolute certainty. There's no room for any doubt whatsoever. However, absolute certainty leads to extremism and fundamentalism. So I encourage you to step away from the faith equals belief paradigm. Instead, look at faith as a desire to enter an active relationship with the mystery of the divine. As theologian Abraham Joshua Heschel described it, to bring together all the might that is within us with all that is spiritual beyond us. To have faith is to enter life with the courage, dare I say the expectation, to more deeply you live, the more deeply you will experience God who is revealed in life. Life was full of struggles and doubt, but doubt is the first step towards discovery, and discovery demands exploration. You cannot discover anything you are not actively seeking, and there is nothing more important than life than to seek the mystery of the divine. On a personal note, as you are wrestling with your doubts, I would advise two things based on my own experience. First, keep it as private as possible. Don't walk into your church or your synagogue publicly claiming that you're having doubts. That's just going to cause a lot of consternation to happen that you don't want to happen. Instead, find someone in your life who can be a trusted agent. Someone you can talk to about your doubts privately. A little nugget of advice doesn't need to be someone from your tradition. Often, people outside your specific tradition will bring a different insight or clarity. Your trusted agent just needs to be someone who you can talk to that has an uncritical mindset. Someone you can unload that weight and allow you to talk through your doubts freely. So second, if your doubts do become public, don't engage with people who are critical about those doubts. When people find out you are having doubts, they're going to probably come at you to criticize or to talk you out of it. Or worse yet, They want you to blindly accept the traditional view. If you engage those people, if you argue with them, it can escalate an already stressful situation and make matters worse for yourself. A polite, thank you, I appreciate your concern or advice, and just walk away. You may have to do this many times, but don't allow someone else's misguided judgment to interfere with your discovery. So let's recap. Doubt is a normal part of learning and understanding. Doubt is a key step in critical thinking. We all have brains and we all have reason for a reason. When you have doubts, 
when you challenge something you believe, it's not a negative. It's okay. It's totally okay. It's completely natural to have doubts and to think them through critically. So when you have doubts, don't dismiss it. Wrestle with it. Wrestle with that doubt. But don't go it alone. Seek someone in your life who can be a trusted agent. Work together to explore your doubt and help you towards the discovery. If you don't have anyone to be in this role, contact me through DM. This is why my channel exists, to help people through these kind of struggles. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this type of content. If you have specific topics you'd like to see covered, please leave a comment below and work to address them in upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you.